Hello, this is GSC 203 Philosophy and Logic. Today we are going to study Module 3, Unit 3. Logic's Vocabulary Part 2. This study unit is the continuation of the preceding one. It intends to introduce you to some basic concepts logicians use, but it focuses particularly on the definition of validity and invalidity of an argument. An argument is a group of propositions that can be structured into two parts. That is, you can say you are structuring an argument into two premises, which is also known as reason and conclusion, which can also be known as claim. An argument is said to be valid when the conclusion of that argument is derived from or follows from the premises. In other words, in a valid argument, it is necessary that if the premises are true, then the conclusion is true. Sometimes, although the second premise is false, the argument is still valid because when the premises are assumed to be true, the conclusion must be true also. In logic proper, an argument can still be valid when all the premises are false. Are the premises actually true? Is the argument valid? These are two distinct and fundamental questions in logic. You must know that a valid argument is concerned with the structure of the argument and not the content. An invalid argument. This is the opposite of valid one. But invalid argument has a peculiar characteristic. For instance, it is not necessary that if the premises are true, then the conclusion is true. In conclusion, any valid argument with all premises true is a sound argument. Any valid argument with at least one false premise in an unsound argument, all invalid arguments are unsound. Other vocabulary include subject or predicate term, major, minor, and middle terms. In conclusion, the aforementioned are still a few of the vocabulary that are used in logic, which means I still refer you back to your course material for further study. Thank you.